What's up everybody, it's another day to light the world here in the Rubio home and in your life. So today we are talking about how to love your enemy. Uh, be good to people that hate you because you know what, it is hard to do that. Uh, I'm going to tell a quick story. When I was in high school, there was a kid who also played trombone. I played trombone, if you didn't know. Uh, who would, you know, occasionally say things that were snarky. Sometimes he would say some, uh, I think, he, I'm pretty sure he said some racial things that was like, like jokingly, but it was somewhat offensive in, in the context that were, you know, was being said. He would draw me as a fat kid because I was fat. I'm still fat though. Like, I'm fat and happy now, but then I was fat and unhappy. And uh, so we had a little bit of a beef. And um, in, after we when we were graduating from high school, we, we mended our ways because we knew that that wasn't the way to live. We weren't happy. We knew that it wasn't um, good for either of us. And we became pretty good friends. Uh, we stayed in contact every once in a while, you know, through Facebook. And uh, uh, we used to, we went, when we went through college all together. Um, and so that was pretty awesome. But I wanted another way of a thing to, I guess talking about enemies when you have your significant other your other orange, uh, and because in Spanish you say "tu media naranja," um, and you're you have struggles at the house because you know we're tired, we're hungry, um, we're tired and hungry. Uh, you had a long day with kids or family or whatever it might be. Uh, remember that. Uh, take the time to stop, breathe. Remember that you love them for who they are, and that in the long scheme of things, it's the moment that you're dealing with is just small. And more importantly than that, I think remembering that we all come from different backgrounds and our perspectives and our what we learned and what we what affects us is different. So that's some food for thought. Hopefully, um, if you have somebody in your life that you that you struggle work with, maybe it's your mother-in-law, maybe it's your father-in-law, maybe it's your sibling, maybe it's your uh, someone at work, whatever it might be. Try to do take some time and try to be extra kind to them. Let them know that. Um, just you know talk to them maybe a little more than you normally do get to know them maybe that will change your perspective in any case let me know how it goes hit that thumbs up button if you like these like the worlds and if you're following along make sure to hit that uh, subscribe for more of this content and I'll see you guys faces or actually I'll just I'll see you guys tomorrow leave her alone thanks for listening this is a power tip. My wife reminded me of a thing that we try to do here at the Rubio Home, which is called, it's a five to one ratio. You do for every like uh, angry or just like struggling thing you deal with, you try to do five good things to that one. Uh, that way there's more love than hate, right? It takes five positive actions to compensate for the one negative action. So five good, th five positive things to get rid of that that negative you know situation we try to do that here so that's your bonus tip for today <laughs> bye